Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Under Rail. We've just found Newton over here, he's been uh, hiding in this abandoned base, whatever it is. And this base was full of Psy Beetles, so yeah, we uh, killed them all. And we uh, rescued Mr. Newton, and now we can return to our main base. And tell them, we are victorious! Give us XP! And in fact, we do have... We just need one more XP, I believe, right? No, three more. Okay. Never mind. We need three more XP. Well, that should be quite nice. We are leveling up fairly quickly now. Some of the items give you so much XP, it's ridiculous. Look at this. Four XP for studying an oddity. Oddity. There. That's quite a lot. I thought that all oddities uh, were just giving you one XP per item, but no, some of them actually give you loads. That's pretty awesome, though. It's like, hmm, I see. Let me study this old diver's helmet. Mm hmm. I see. They used to dive with this, and it's made of metal. Oh dear! I can, I can suddenly fire my weapons better, stealth, uh, walk around in stealth better, and I also know more about science. <laughs> Uh, I know it's a little silly, but I, I love this system. It's it's a lot more unique than, you know, the old, the normal um, complete this quest, kill this creature, get XP, blah blah blah. You still have the option of that, which is really nice. Because if you want, you get the option of getting XP for all that stuff. But if you want to play the game like it was meant to be played, then you gotta use these oddities. And I think it's brilliant. It's so nice to find them because you know, oh man, this is XP. It's brilliant. Come on. Bio scan complete. Now we can go back to that guy. Oh yeah, first we need to go to uh, the pens. Blip. Hello, we brought you Newton back. He's been a very naughty boy because he's uh, been playing with size beetles. I hope he's in the infirmary. Yeah, he probably is. What can I do for you? About Newton. Yes? Did you see him down there? He ran into some Psy Beetles and had to hide in an abandoned warehouse just west from the Mushroom Cove. I had to help him get back here. He hurts... Uh, he, he, he hurt his leg, but he'll be okay. Pascal is patching him up. I told him to be careful, not to wander off too far. Well, glad he's alright, and thank you for helping him. This is all as far as I'm concerned. You can go back to Tanner. Oh, thank you. Oh. Well, he at least gave me one XP. How are you, Huey, doing, Louis? I guess they're okay. Wait, Pascal is... Let's go check up on him. Why not? Maybe he'll have uh, some more XP for us. Oh, man. My nose itches like crazy. Ah, must be allergies or something. So, um, Pascal. How's Newton doing? He'll be alright, he wasn't seriously wounded. He'll heal quickly. But he's been under a lot of stress, so we'll keep him f here for a while. Give him a chance to get some rest, poor kid. All in all, he'll be fine. Is there anything else you wanted to ask me? Um, do you have anything to trade? Yeah, if I can get some blueprints. Psy Booster, I would love this. It's very expensive though, Health Hypo. Both of these, actually. Hmm. Man, that's expensive. If I could find it out in the open, maybe that would be better. Gasoline was once largely used as fuel for many types of vehicles. However, since the internal combustion engines fell out of use a long time ago, it's now mostly used in creating makeshift incendiary weapons. It's not very valuable, this, unfortunately. Or at least he's not offering me a lot of money for it. No, I'm gonna wait to see if um, I can find some out in the open. Some blueprints. Um, rock fell on his shoulder during the, during the earthquake. If it hit just a few inches to the side, it would have killed him instantly. Why can't I speak today? Oh, there's Newton. Thank you very much for helping me out here. Uh, out there. I'm in your debt. You're welcome. Just be careful next time you go into those caves. Bye. I just came here to tell you you're a wussy. <laughs> you're welcome. That's funny. You can come back and tell him he's a wuss. Or, I'm sorry, a wussy. <laughs> that is ridiculously funny. Right. Let's go back to the uh, commons and cantina. And talk to 
Tanner. We'll say, great job! You're amazing playing this game on easy. And I'll say, why yes, yes I am. Hello, Metal Canyon. I'm done with Brett's quest. Now what? Excellent! I have another task for you. Gorski has led an expedition into the nearby GMS compound, and he requested that you specifically join them there. Go to the station platform exit and talk to Essie. She can instruct you on how to get to GMS compound. After you've completed this task, come and see me. Alright then. We'll go over there. See what's up there. He asked specifically for me. He probably heard of my legendary uh, cave hopper. Um, hunting prowess, I guess. So, can't really uh, steal anything from here, unfortunately. Essie. Hi, Metal Canyon. Heading out somewhere? Do you need directions? Yes, I was hoping you could tell me how to get somewhere. Where are you headed? I need to get to uh, GMS compound. That one's easy. Just exit the station uh, to the north and head straight until the first crossroad. Then turn left and go straight until you come on, uh, upon an auxiliary road. Keep going straight, following the road, and it will lead you into an abandoned warehouse block. GMS compound in its northwest corner. Okay, so let's see. Head straight until the first crossroad, then turn left and go straight until you come upon an auxiliary road. Okay, so just turn left at the first crossroad, then just go keep going straight. All right. Oh, so many of those boxes, I can't get to them. Well, that's a railroad, pretty big one. Um, oh, I can't get to the other side. How rude. Oh yeah, I can go over here. Okay, never mind. Let's go over here. I do believe the other guy uh, that teaches psionics is here, right? I think. Can we go over here and steal something? Probably not. No, all of this is red. Uh, come on, people. You have to leave some stuff over here for me to steal. Hi, you must be Methyl Canyon. Name's Roman. I'm in charge of this barricade. Wish I had time to chat, but I'm very busy right now. Um, how much damage did the earthquake do? We're not sure. It might be that the tunnel just caved in a couple of places. I've sent parties to the tunnel's side entrances to investigate. We'll know more when they return. Have you made any progress in clearing the tunnel? Not much so far. We have to dig deep enough to safely plant the explosives. Otherwise we risk damaging the tunnel even more. I'll leave you to your work then. I don't suppose there's anything over here. Yeah, all these are red. Oh well. So that's a sentry. That's a sen- Whoa! Hello, bison. Hello, friend. I don't believe we've met. Name's Bison, or Bison, or whatever. Well met, Bison. I'm Metal Canyon. I'll, I'll call him Bison, just because it's funnier. I'd love to chat more, but as you can see, we're all a bit too busy right now. Is there something you need? What are you doing? I'm helping with cleaning up the tunnel by using telekinetic manipulation. Can you teach me psi abilities? I can teach you psychokinetics, if you're interested, but I'm afraid I'll have to charge you. Why do you have to charge me? I'm not a scavenger, I'm not, I'm not a manufacturer. Teaching is how I get by. That's alright. Right, uh, when it comes to psionics, I can teach you telekinetic punch, force field, force emission, and electrokinesis. Kinesis. What is a telekinetic punch exactly? It's when you focus your mind to create a telekinetic ball and launch it at your target. Impact is often so strong that if you hit a living target with it, you're likely to daze it for a short while. Ooh, that is an excellent thing, and it's only 50 credits. Agreed, here you go. Let's begin your training then. I thought he said he was busy. <laughs> and now we begin our training. Oh, there we go. So, the telekinetic punch is here. This is an extremely useful thing. Strikes the target, dealing 25 to 36 mechanical damage, which is quite a lot, and stunning it for one turn unless it passes a fortitude check. The stun only affects organic targets. I'm going to replace uh, stealth because I don't use it anyway. Yeah, it's very nice. I want to learn more psi abilities. Force fields. You can focus your mind to pro uh, project this telekinetic force field that lasts only a little while, but is so strong that it's nearly impenetrable. Interesting. What about force emission? It's called psi punching. You focus your mind to add your psionic power to your fist attacks. Huh. Don't really have that kind of money. 
You, pr you project an electrical bolt that jumps between your enemies, shocking them. The one to take the full brunt of the attack can also end up being paralyzed for a short duration. Yeah, interesting stuff, but I think for now I'm fine. I've got that cool uh, pyrokinetic thing. Alright, so I have to come to the first crossroads first and then go left. So this is the first crossroads over it. No, it's not yet. Ah, different music. Nothing here, nothing here. And, oh! A bunch of pamphlets of protectorate propaganda calling on citizens and leaders of Underrail communities to work with them towards integrating into the United Stations. Promising safety and easier life. Well, let's uh, read it. We just need one more XP. <laughs> and this is not really a crossroads, is it? No. There's a rat hound there. Hello, rat hound. I know you want to play. Well now, I do believe this is um, a chance to use my lovely pyrokinesis. Just don't hit me, please. Oh, oh man, look at him. And they're all feared. Oh man, that's awesome. Ah, this is my feet. Uh, this guy actually, I mean, they all have a chance to burn. But this guy will actually burn for the same amount of damage I did to him over a period of a few turns. This is brilliant. Man. Um, I'm just gonna use the bolt because I'm gonna have to finish him off anyway. Not this guy though. This guy is done. He's gonna burn to death. <laughs> Run. Run. Well, he should burn now. Yep, 12. There we go. One more and he's dead. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for them here. Well, this one will burn. Mm, didn't really... Yeah, he's probably dead because he's gone. He didn't drop anything, but he's gone. He's probably called Zed. Who's Zed? Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. Well, I can use another pyrokinesis then. <laughs> and there's four of them. Oh man, this just get gets better and better. <laughs> oh man! This is amazing! I love this ability. Look at this. Run, little rats! Run! <laughs> oh man. Yep, that's what you get for. Uh, I'll take that. Yeah, for trying to uh, attack me. I guess that's also because of my high wheel. Look at that. Look at all this damage. I would have used loads of uh, bullets on these guys otherwise. A phobia? What? A phobia? Huh. Come back. There's one. I do believe I can kill this one with an aim sh no aim shot. Bing! Oh, 65! Holy crap, that was awesome. We rock. Okay, let me take all this. Lovely. Take that. Okay, so this is the crossroad he was talking about. There's an explosive barrel there. I guess if you stealth, you get the option to uh, to shoot those explosive barrels before they see you. Which is pretty nice, because that's the game giving you options, you know. Um, we obviously need to go that way, but what's over here? Oh, I guess this is just a wall. Probably more rat hounds over here. Probably shouldn't go here. No, oh, it's just an exit. Okay. Well, this is where I need to go. Well, that's a lot of blood over there. I kind of don't want to know what the hell was going on. <laughs> this is where the uh, GMS compound, I think it was called, is supposed to be. Ew. Nothing here, unfortunately. Why do they have roads in such uh, underground like that? It's so odd. Ugh, more of them. Well, there's an explosive barrel there. Uh, let's just do this. Oh, man! What's going on? Brilliant. I'm gonna wait for that guy. It was amazing. But... Whoa! Unfortunately, I am running out of bolts. Very quickly. I think that's my last one. Yep, that is indeed my last bolt. I do have some poison bolts, but that's about it. 
It's not good. Oh, this is locked. Can I go past those guys without uh, attacking them? Oh, there we go. Is that where we need to go? Probably. Hello. We're expecting you inside. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Let's go find out what this all is about. What this is all about. Hello? Gorski. Sure took your time in getting here. What is this place? This is the GMS compound. Used to belong to our old friends from Omega. They abandoned it at some point, but not before sealing it shut. The bastards. We tried to break in a number of times, but it was of no use. But now the earthquake has done the work for us. What does GMS stand for? I have no idea. But I doubt it was vital for their operations, as it was one of their first buildings they abandoned when their manpower started dwindling. Who are the Omega? They were a station we competed with for control of the South Gate area. So, what happened to Omega? I'm guessing you won. Half of them are dead now, and others are scattered over the rest of the underrail, so... Yeah, we won. You killed half of them? Why? Hey, I don't have to teach you bloody history. Life is tough, especially here in the South. We did what had to be done. Enough of that now. We have work to do. What's going on here, exactly? We're trying to break into that vault over there, but it's not going too well. What's so important about the vault? Well, according to encrypted messages, uh, message we intercepted back during our war with the Omega, there's reason to believe they sealed off something of value within this vault. Right, so how do we open it? I need you to find the way to open that door. There must be a security card somewhere which unlocks it. Your job is to find it. You might need to go down to the levels below. The elevator is out of commission because the place is running on auxiliary power, so be resourceful. I'm going... Uh, I'm to go down there alone? What are the rest of you going to do? We'll continue trying to open the door manually. What? Are you scared of a few rat hounds? Go get the bloody door open, you ninny. Yeah, I don't really... Hmm. This could take a while. Well, I suppose if you have the hacking skill, you can probably open it yourself. I doubt it, though. Right, so we're supposed to find the card. Ah, uh, lovely loot first, though. Ooh, some Stygian coins. Nothing there. Oh, metal scraps. And Omega ID card. Having one of these must have meant a lot back in the glory days. Well, I just leveled. <laughs> Excellent. Skills. Uh, well, definitely more methothermics. This is brilliant. Probably also psychokinesis and persuasion. Uh, maybe more biology. Uh, well, the crossbow was quite nice, but actually, no. Don't have any bows right, uh, bolts right now. Let's do more dodge. And more lock picking. Did I put it into biology? Yes, I did. Hmm. Well, I guess I could put more into crossbows then. Or I could put something into melee, to be honest, because I'm so useless at it. Just a little. <clears throat> no feats right now, but that's alright. There's another hypo, that's always nice. Footlocker. Ah, it's locked, but I don't have a... Uh, oh, Omnitool, there we go. Good thing I didn't buy one before. And there's the ventilation shafts. You can actually use these to... Uh, to go around, which is pretty cool. Bella scrubs, blah, blah, blah. The bad thing is, you don't know where you're going. It's down here. Oh, this is the power generator. Uh, surveillance system locked, commons locked, auxiliary lights, free. Okay, these are locked. Auxiliary lights, what should auxiliary three power do? Elevator or lights, I see. Four. Oh yeah, wait. This is free, oh yeah, wait. If I exit now, no. So let's auxiliary three uh, lights, there we go, ding. And four, elevator. Done. Alright, so we uh, started up the elevator again. Nice. Ugh, there's the rat hounds. 
quite a few of them, I think. Ugh. Damn it, I wanted to sneak- Ow! I wanted to sneak up on them and, uh... And blow them all to hell with pyrokinesis, but now I see I don't have enough side points. So I guess I'm gonna use this. Try to hit them all. Boom! Oh man! <gasps> burning in fear. Oh, two of them are burning. These guys are gonna die on their own. I just have to kill that one. Oh, this is brilliant. And look at how how much um, light they're producing. This is brilliant. They actually produce light because they're burning. <laughs> well, that guy's dead. This one is gonna be dead the next turn. There we go. Or maybe he's not dead just yet, but he will be. Let me just check. Yep, they're dead. <laughs> oh, this is superb. Okay, let's finish this guy off with an aim shot. Excellent. And now I have no more bolts. Brilliant. Ah, damn it. I have two crossbows, actually. Well, I guess I'm gonna use this for now. Come on. Equip it. Why? Oh, it's probably two-handed, right? Let's see. No. Oh, I'm still in combat. Okay, never mind. There we go. Let's check the remains. Nothing special. But yeah, anyway. We are going to continue next time when we explore this base. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.